Welcome to How To Cook That, I'm Anne Reardon and today we're making Gravity Falls themed eyeballs in a jar and a hand in a jar as well. To make the eyeballs, place some yellow, blue, green and more yellow jelly or jello if you're on the other side of the world crystals into a bowl and then add a tiny bit of instant coffee to one of the yellow bowls so that we can make a brown colour. Add cold water and stir well and I'll put all of the recipe quantities that you need on the howtocookthat.net website for you. Repeat that with each of them and then once you've let them sit for a couple of minutes, microwave on high until it just starts to boil and be careful that they don't boil over. Take a sphere ice cube tray and you can buy these online, I'll put a link to where I got them below and then add some colour to each one. If you use a measuring spoon this will make it easier just to get all of them the same size. And I'm going to fill a big mould and a smaller one as well to give two sizes of eyeballs just like you get in the Gravity Falls jar. Place them in the fridge to set and to make the pupil you'll need white chocolate, milk and gelatin and of course some black food colouring. Add the gelatin to the milk and stir and yep let it sit for a couple of minutes to absorb all the water. Once the gelatin has softened, microwave it on high until it just starts to boil and then pour that over the white chocolate. Push the chocolate down so it's all under the hot liquid so it can melt it. Then stir that well and add in some black food colouring and stir it again. Put that into a piping bag fitted with a small round tip or you could just cut the corner off a plastic bag if you don't have a piping bag and pipe a black pupil into the middle of each one and then put that in the fridge to set. To make the white part of the eye, you'll need vanilla yogurt and gelatin. Mix half of the yogurt with the gelatin, and if you are a vegetarian, you can swap agar agar instead for all the parts of this recipe. You'll just need to refer to your jar for how much you need. And if you want sweeter eyeballs, you could use vanilla pudding here, or you can just add more sugar to the yogurt. Leave the gelatin to soften for a few minutes, and then microwave it until it's melted. Pour that into the other half of the yogurt and stir it really well. Let it cool to room temperature so it doesn't melt the bits of the eyeballs we've already set and then pour it into the mould up to the fill line and then add the top one and push it down and you'll see it's just starting to come out of the top that means they're full and then add an elastic band around to hold it tightly shut and place those in the fridge to set. Once they are set gently ease the top off the mould and lift it up. Look at those eyeballs. Then place them into your jar, arranging them so they're all looking towards the front. And then add the sale and the dollar sign, and you can print those out from my website. In Gravity Falls, you can also see a hand in a jar on the shelf behind the cash register. To make a hand, melt some white chocolate with a little bit of milk chocolate to give it some colour. Then take a small glove and make sure it's not a cotton lined one or this won't work. Pour in the melted chocolate. Shake it down, making sure all of the fingers are full and there's no air bubbles, and then secure the top with an elastic band. To make it set in a nice hand shape, just rest the hand over a piece of fruit and that will like hollow out the palm area there. Once it is set, remove the band and cut away the glove. I kind of feel like I'm doing surgery here, just taking off jeans off a broken leg or something. <laughs> and then place it into your jar. Now, if it doesn't fit, you could go and buy a bigger jar and that would be the easiest option. Or if you're determined to make it fit like me, you can shave off some of the chocolate from the side. And then when it still won't fit, you could cut off a finger and reattach that later. You'll also want to cut the base off at the wrist so that the hand sits upright in the jar. Now add some details using your knife, cut an indent where the fingernails should be, then cut some grooves where the knuckles are and add some details on the back of the hand, indenting down a bit in between the knuckles. Flip it over and add the crease marks on the fingers where the fingers bend and on the palm of the hand add a few lines there too. Add it into your jar and reattach that missing finger if you need to and now that your hand is in the jar you can add some yellow drink, which is like the formaldehyde that's the liquid that preserves these potted specimens. If you're having a Gravity Falls party, you could put this hand in a glass drink dispenser, which would be pretty disgusting, but it would look good. And there is also another jar in the shop that has a brain in it. And you can check out my old Indiana Jones video for how to make a cheesecake brain. It's squishy. It looks like a real eyeball. 
Subscribe to How to Cook That for more crazy sweet creations. Click here for the recipe, here to go to my YouTube channel, and here for last week's chocolate Chewbacca cake, and here for that Indiana Jones brain one. Gravity Falls was requested by AGC Dragon, Leia V, Mr. Blubbers, Miriam Mabel, Zunga Sanchez, Jessica, and all these other lovely subscribers. You can put your requests in the comments below and try and figure out the code. Make it a great week, and I'll see you all on Friday. Oh,